Welcome back, my fellow Final Fanians. We are playing more Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back, my fellow Final Fanians. We are playing more Lost Odyssey for the Xbox 360 degrees. Going down is easy enough, but we won't be able to return to the surface from here. Yeah, and besides, it stinks down in the Zores. Blah, blah, blah. So, in our last episode of Lost Odyssey, we went through the through Ura with Seth and um, Tolton, and then Seth was reunited with her son, who is interestingly. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm pressing all kinds of buttons. I don't remember how to play this game. It's been that long. There you go. With Sed, who is actually like 80 years old, although Seth looks younger, she is actually like like uh, 6,000 years old. So whatever. But yep, he's her son. We are in the sores, hiding out from all the Uren soldiers. And yes, there's battles here. But at least now I get to show off Set a little bit, which is pretty exciting. So let's check him out and see what kind of cool techniques and abilities he has on these new enemies. The Magic Towers. And of course, the large nails in the back row. So let's start off with these things in the front row. And he's got... Turntail enables you to always to flee from battle, which is cool if you're in my scenario and you love running away all the time. And they got all this other weird crap, but we're just gonna do normal attacks for now and So, let's go ahead and take out these guys. Not bad. Not bad! 354 damage for a guy in the back row, and he's not even a captain or anything. Wow! Yeah, that was luck or skill. I don't know what that was, but that was just freaking epic. Now this guy is shooting me with goo. Which is not very nice. So, let's go ahead and just whoop these guys' asses, finish off the battle. These guys all appear to be pure attackers, so what the hell? Wow. Ownage. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. Not bad. Good experience. Tolton immediately leveled up. Seth learned member hit, which sounds really suggestive. So, um, let's go ahead and let's see what Seth has on, because it's been a little while since I played this game, so I can't quite remember. Enhancements cut down. What she got linked? Cut down. So, I'm going to link her to Magic Seal. Nullifies the enemy spell cast. That's pretty good. Double item. Two items can be used at the same time. Interesting. This is actually really awesome. Double SP. Double skill points. Set. Okay. And... She's also learned that. Okay. We're good. Let's continue on. And uh, just by, by reference, obviously, if you haven't figured it out by now, Sed is not an immortal. I'm sure you figure that out, though. Um, damn it. I'll do one more battle before I start editing them out. But that double SP is really useful. Uh, once you learn it, you can put it on all your mortals, and they just learn skills ridiculously fast. So as you can imagine, um, we're actually getting close to the end of the game. I mean, I would say we're about 80% done. Obviously, there's still a bit more to go. You know, we're only on disc 3. With disc 3, there's not too much left. And, um, after disc 3, uh, disc 4 is extremely short. I don't really mind that because, as I've mentioned before in other videos, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. As I was saying, I don't really mind it. Because I, I'm actually really excited to start a new project, which I've, I've mentioned before. Boy. What the hell is going on here? Uh, one guy that's freaking paralyzed. What kind of chaos is going on? But I'm excited to move on to new projects. Hopefully I will be able to soon. Uh, this game should... It shouldn't take more than another uh, week or two to finish. Wow. 
Yeah, these enemies are pummeling me to death. Come on. I don't even know how much health I have. There we go. Well, this game shouldn't take more than another week or two to finish. Um, and then once I finish, I'm going to get my other projects done. And once I get everything done, then I'll decide what I want to do next. So, for now, I'm satisfied, and that's all that matters. What the heck? This thing's out of control. A magic engine out of control. Well, that explains all the magic energy in the area. If we put a stop to the engine, then we will weaken the monsters. So, apparently we're fixing a clock for some weird reason. Un uh, unknown to us. And uh, we're continuing on. The sores I remember uh, when I first played this game. I remember I got completely lost in this place. So, hopefully... I'll, I'll be able to find my way around, but so far, I mean, it looks pretty simple. It doesn't look too complicated, but I do remember that it opens up quite a bit. So, we'll see what happens. And there's going to be treasure chests I miss here. Um, I'm doing this kind of blind, this part, because I don't really remember uh, where all the treasures are, and I really didn't feel like looking at a guide or anything. So, most of this dungeon here is blind, so I'm guaranteeing you that I'm going to miss stuff. Which isn't that big of a deal, because um, I do I don't think there's anything too important here, like treasures or anything. Might be a couple of things, but I don't think there's like any major spells or anything too major that we're gonna miss. Um, sorry about my stuffy nose, folks. Uh, last last week and this week, for whatever reason, I've been kind of congested, so I don't know what's happening. I'm dying or something. Must be the New Jersey pollution, but I uh, just gotta take everything a day at a time and. Uh, and deal with it. One thing I want to do before I forget, I'm going to do it now because I'm sure I'm going to forget later, is you're going to want to put boost the amount of HP the magic. That's good. I'll just replace Dizzy. You're going to want to put black magic. up to level 5. You're going to want to put black magic on Seth and then the other two, you're going to want to figure out a way to put magic on the other two people as well. And the reason for that is for I believe a boss the that comes and up. Takes open these holes. And I don't remember if it's here or further How about ahead. that, your worshipness? Got something to say now? Uh, they can't wait to fight. Good for nothing but target practice. <sighs> Sid, stop picking on him. It's not his fault he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Oh, so sorry, your graciousness. But that's the way I am. I get heartburn whenever I see someone in power. Well, for the moment, Tolton has no power. Really? Hmm. All right, knock it off. He's after the same enemy we are. The same enemy. Yeah, just now. He didn't seem to care before the game war. Huh? 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 It's it's fine. Huh? Whoa, was it meant to fly like that? <laughs> I see Gengor is still at it. Why not drag the whole goddamn Grand Staff with you? <laughs> it's kind of freaking hilarious. Okay, so it isn't a boss fight yet. For some reason, I was thinking, what the hell? Is it the boss fight already? But it's not. Uh, we're fine. So let's continue on. And keep on trudging forward. I remember it gets a little bit puzzleish here. Just the way I came from. I hate not knowing where I'm going. I think I'm gonna go down first because there's a door over there, and usually the doors are the right way. So if I go down, I'm hoping it's the wrong way. Makes sense. Stop. No. We're in train. 
I believe there's a treasure chest down here I can get. Yep, that's the one thing I remember. Maneuvering through the water in this game absolutely sucks. It's so slow, and yes, there is enemies here, but I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest or two I can grab. More of the same type of enemies. Let's just go ahead and kill them really quick. Straight up attacks. Kill them fast, early, and often, baby. Two shotting them. Come on, Tolton. Nice, one shot. As long as the enemy doesn't do anything horrible, I think I'll be okay. So far, we're good. There you go. It's over. Wow! The enemies didn't even get one hit off. We have absolutely annihilated them. Holy shit. For the soul. That was epic. And Tolton gained the whole level. Seth learned level 3 black white magic. Sweet. Alright. She learned that, which means I can actually equip yet another thing on her. Give her anti-terror, even though I think she already knows terror. So many ways to go. And now I'm starting to think that I should have gone through that door up top first, because now this is appearing to be the right way, <laughs> which really sucks. I don't remember what treasure chests there are in this place. Um, obviously I haven't gotten any. There's one over there. Oh, okay, cool. Looks like I went the right way. Come on. What do we got here? The healing tank. Okay. That would, that is so not worth it. And beast hides. Really? Really? More of the same enemies. Um, this is the last battle I'm going to show you before I edit out. Pretty much the same thing, just straight up attacking, owning everything, and continuing on. Zed is definitely handy. Uh, not one of my favorite characters in the game because honestly, he's really not that strong, even though he's doing a lot of damage. Um, later on in the game, you get way better characters. The time is better, Seth is better. Um, Jan looks better, me. So, while it's great and all, oh boy. While it's great and all, it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's not going to be that one. The only thing he has that's really useful is all those abilities like double AP and, and all that. Leap before you look, I always say. Good. So we came this way for a couple of treasures. Now I'm going to go straight left and see if there's any other treasures there. We came from up top. Uh, is that the clock? No, I think that's a different clock. When I came in, I fixed the clock. That might be the clock that I fixed when I came in. I don't know. I'm completely lost. <laughs> this place is definitely confusing as all hell. Not going to lie. So this is taking me in a... I think this is a circle. Tolton learned a new spell called MP Gift. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. Let's see. Transfer some of users' magic to another party member. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really useful. Uh, especially when you have magic casters in your group. So, that's a pretty cool spell to learn. Sweet. Okay, so this does take me in a complete circle. So, looks like I did go the right way. But all that just to get those two treasure chests... Hey, <coughs> excuse me. Not really worth it just to go all the way here. Just to get two stinking treasure chests, to be bluntly honest. Anyways, uh, through the door, we're going backtracking now. And we're going to go through that door that we skipped. I don't even know how to open that. I'm assuming there's a way to go all the way around and open it. I think I could have gone up there. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Let's just continue on. Make our way to the next room. That's all that matters here. 
I remember the first time I did this place, though, I got lost. I don't know why, but I was going in circles for a while here. It might be this room, because this room looks rather complicated, so it's very possible. I do see a safe point in the distance, which is cool. And I see someone there. Interesting. And it's a dead end. And there's a ladder. So there's a safe point in the distance, which I can't get to yet. But there's a ladder here. And I remember I did get stuck here. I was like, what the hell? And I didn't realize there was a ladder. So it took me a few minutes just to realize there was a ladder here. Okay. This is a dead end. Gotta go this way. That treasure chest, I think I remember how to get. Let's see if I remember how to get there. Oh, duh. Yeah, I know how to get there. Simple. Just pull, grab a, a crate. Pull it. Grab another crate. Come on. And this one's gonna pull right over the other one into the ground. Enough, and I can grab the treasure. Holy guard. I forget what that is. Probably some other stupid accessory. A magic headdress that protects the wearer in times of need. Complete defense will be activated in critical HP status once per battle. So it's like a super auto protect. Okay. What else do we got here? Another room I can't go into that's wonderful. Looks like the only way we can go is down this way. We can open this gate now. Let's open that up. Uh, bear with me. Climb. Oh, there's a ladder there. And now I remember why I got lost. There's a lot of weird little little things. Okay, that takes me in a complete circle. So before, I don't know why I couldn't go up there. But let's climb the ladder and see what we got. 